Welcome to Earth Eats. I'm Kate Young and I'm here with Maury Wilhite. We are in Katsumi's teaching kitchen with the instructor and owner. And today we are going to make bento boxes. Yes, for seasonal reasons, we'll try and make a cherry blossom bento. Another word for love is bento, because that means your mom woke up early to get your bento ready or your wife. Some of them could be very bland or I guess, you know, the housewives themselves get bored, so they start getting all creative. This isn't very hard. You could do this easily as well. So this is just some, um, some sushi rice. We're using it as a leftover a little bit to make your bento. It's already been treated with the rice vinegar, so I have that ready. If you're Asian, mostly Japanese, you know what this tin means. This is from a high-end cookie store. But after you're done, you can use it for anything. At our house, we use it to put our seaweed in because we want to keep it fresh and it's, uh, you want to keep it dry. If you don't have any other means to keep your seaweed dry, just go ahead and wrap it up tight and put it in the freezer. And uh, just put it at room temperature before you use it. It'll, be, it'll get all brittle. When you look at your seaweed, there is a subtle distinction between the, uh, there's a rough side and the shiny side. The shiny side is a decorative, so you want the rough side up to receive the rice. Normally when you go to a sushi bar, when the chef is making it, there's a little cup of water. It's usually half water and half vinegar. They tap on it to get their hands wet so that they could handle the rice. This is a good uh, trick, a hack. Go ahead and spray your fingers over the trash bin, hopefully not on the floor because it will make it slippery. And then now your hands are now non-stick, but more importantly, they're not wet so they won't make your sushi damp. So you want to have it like two thirds in the middle right here. I'm calling it teardrops, but it's really the petals. Okay, so sort of a teardrop shape right. that's gonna serve as a petal. Exactly. Okay. Just to make the cutting easier, you could use a knife, but this is just faster. So we'll trim the edge off a little to make it more pretty. In yesteryear, it was the mom using leftovers from dinner to make it as lunch, but now they're finding more creative and fast ways to make their um, lunch for their family. This is a, a meal prep. Most, if you get a real Japanese, Japanese bento to an American, it looks like a snack box, not a lunch box. So this would be good. There's a rule of thumb when you do bento, 50% carbs, 25% fiber, and 25% protein. And you sh there's a color code. It's more formula. If you could have black, white, red, green, yellow, and that makes visual appeal. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you know it's gonna taste good. You're trying to, even for okay. your kids, you're trying to make it presentable. And this is where you could use your, your leftover stuff. The little petals. So we're gonna get a piece of ham, fold it in half. I'm just rolling it up. Supposed to be in the middle here. Some little strawberries to get the red portion in. The main thing is you want them to say, oh, pretty, chomp, chomp, chomp. You know, it's not there to be looked at really. You're supposed to be able to eat it real quick. So, so these are just hot dogs. I put a couple of slits down it and microwaved it for about 30 seconds and making little rose buds here on the side. So this is just some leftover um, potato salad. This is a neat trick I started doing because I always forget to get those stupid cupcake cups. And you could just really make your own, really, like I'm doing here. And right here is a little bit of some pickled um, Ooh, yum. cucumber with uh, kombu in it. Pickled dishes are important in Asian meals because of uh, you know, fermented stuff is good for your digestion. Uh -huh. So that's why they try to include it, even like, like in kimchi as well, there's a little bit on your pickled radishes or cucumbers. They have a little bit on there. There you go. It's kind of quick, but. Awesome. 
So then that's just a fun lunch that your kid can open up or your yes, partner. Or, <laughs> or whomever you're trying to impress that yeah. day. Something okay. really quick and easy. And you know, you just get so happy someone went out of their way to make this for you. I don't know. I, yeah. No one makes it for me, of course, but uh, I usually make it for somebody else. But. Well, thank you so much. Sure. This is wonderful. Thanks for joining us. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and follow Earth Eats wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks for being with us today, oh, Maury. Thank you for having me. I had a lot of fun. All right. We'll see you next time.